Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 22nd. But you know the timing is fluid, so we're just gonna see what comes up. There are no, there are no, there are no time. Okay, there's no, there's no clock. This reading will resonate when it is meant to resonate, and this reading is not sign specific. So it is what it is. What do we got for around the 22nd? Oh. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is satisfaction. Um, looks like we have somebody here that has plenty. They have plenty. They may be flaunting it. This person looks like they're flaunting themselves. Or they're flaunting what they have. You know, there's there's six cups behind her and three cups in front of her. It's like, I think we have somebody here that is, is, is overdoing it. I think this person is overdoing it. They, you know, there's something to do with the past here because of the six cups behind. So there's something to do with the past. This person is flaunting themselves. It's like, I have it all. I have it all. Look at me. Look at me. Um, but the Three of Cups, this is like celebrating, right? Celebrating life, feeling very good, feeling very satisfied. Um, the past is behind. The past is behind her. So it looks to me like we have somebody here that has left the past behind, is feeling really good. Is, is Yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. We have somebody here that is in a really good place, feeling very satisfied with life, maybe socializing, having fun, connecting with friends. You know, even though we're in a time where we can't really connect in person, there's 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 socializing with the Three of Cups, and that can be done through the Internet, right? Social media. But this is somebody that is very satisfied that and happy. They've left the past behind because, you know, the Six of Cups is behind. So the past is being left behind, very satisfied and happy. Um, happy that the past is behind, but there's still an element of being overwhelmed because burdened, hanging on to a burden. We do have somebody, this person is flaunting themselves, doing well. We have this, I don't know if this is the same person or what, but this is somebody that is burdened, overwhelmed, hanging on to something, carrying some sort of baggage. Um, still holding on. So we do have somebody that is still holding on right here. Hmm. Going back and forth. We have somebody here that is juggling. They're juggling. They're trying to be flexible. They're trying to adapt. Adapting to the, the changing circumstances. So this is somebody that is flexible. Very skilled. It looks like we have somebody here that is... This, guy, this person has a, has a smirk on their face as well. I'm handling this just fine. So somebody is handling something just fine, adapting to the changing circumstances, but definitely overwhelmed. So this person may be pretending that they're okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the emperor reversed. The emperor reversed. It's funny because before I started this reading and I was meditating a little bit to myself before I even turned on the camera, that was the card that I saw was the emperor reversed. So, and I didn't know if it was about, you know, somebody in my life or whatnot, so I didn't say it. Um, so the Emperor Reversed is a masculine, and it, and it doesn't have to be somebody in my life. You know, I have a father, I have men in my life, or whatever. Anyhow, this is a masculine that um, is not interested, not interested in helping uh, somebody that involves themselves in criminal activity. Uh... Now, this is, is, is burdensome, overwhelmed, trying to do too much. We have a masculine that is trying to do too much. That is what we have here. 
He's trying to do too much. He may be working too much. He's trying to do too much. He needs to be more flexible. He needs to bring he needs to be able to balance. He need it's like things are unbalanced. He's trying to balance. He's trying to adapt to some changing circumstances, but he's struggling. He is struggling. Meanwhile, this person is flaunting themselves. This is flaunting. But this is also a wish wish fulfillment, you know. So it looks like we have this this masculine that is having a hard time balancing, you know, perhaps a relationship or something in work. That could be the case. This person may be upset. The emperor reverse could be a boss, could be a business owner, um, trying to hang on, trying to hang on to something and having a hard time, but 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 still doing it. So this person is still doing it. Kind of with a smile on their face, too. This person is quite quite skilled. Quite skilled. So, hmm. But the Emperor in reverse has got something to prove. Definitely has something to prove. Now, the Emperor in reverse is, is so driven by society that he deserts you in this time of need. So we could have somebody here that is... Uh, communicating with others, maybe on social media, I don't know, something is happening because they feel deserted. You know, the Emperor in Reverse is, is, is somebody that is very controlling, very into uh, what everybody, worried about what everybody else has to say. Uh, Seven of Wands. challenge somebody is facing a challenge and they probably are up against some stiff competition um, being caught off guard it feels like everybody is pointing their finger it's like they're they're it's, yeah, we're having somebody that is trying it's like they're they're overwhelmed we have a masculine here that is overwhelmed now this is about fighting off competition so somebody may need to fight off, maybe may finding, finding it challenging to fight off the competition. So we do, we do have, and this is a masculine. That is having, you know, to fight off, needing to protect, needing to fight for something. Um, looks like he is protecting, or he's, uh, hmm. but this is pretending, the Eight of Cups reversed pretending to be happy this could also be an apology wanting to come back wanting to fight we may have a masculine that made a poor choice he chose uh everything but this person up here his dream come true right because that is the, the nine of cups is 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 a dream come true it's it's a wish fulfillment Right. This is a very. This is somebody that is um, very. Oh. Sociable, very happy. It looks like this person is just very comfortable. Right. This person is at ease. It's just fun. This person is fun. This guy has deserted somebody because he's overwhelmed. Too has too many demands. He has too many demands. He needs to be able to adapt. He needs to be able to balance things better. He's having a hard time balancing. You notice this is over here by itself. It's like he's 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 got too many irons in the fire. He's got too much going on. Um, somebody may have walked away. The Eight of Cups reverse. This is like walked away. Wanting to come back. Somebody may be apologizing. This could be an apology. Apology thinking about going back thinking so we, this masculine may be thinking about fighting for somebody that left this person may have left because you notice this person has already left it behind they've already left it behind this person may be having a hard time dealing with the fact that this person left it behind this person left it behind because this person didn't choose you know to make it uh Give it energy to give it time. You know, I, I was crazy because I posted a quote the other day about priority. Didn't make this person a priority. 
I didn't make this person a priority. Now they're thinking about fighting for something, but they're very, very busy. Busy, 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 busy. You know, and when you're in love, if you're too busy, then it's not going to work. You can't be too busy for somebody. You can't be too busy. To have happily ever after, you're going to be have to be able to put effort into both things, you know, uh, your responsibilities and your love life. You have to, it has to be an equal. So we're having somebody here that is, is probably upset. This guy is probably upset. The emperor reversed. Um, he is probably upset. Uh, he may have deserted. He deserted somebody. That's what it looks like to me. Now he's thinking about uh, fighting for somebody that has left or apologizing or something like that. I think he's thinking about it. Um, he may be, he may be um, trying to protect himself as well. He may be trying to protect himself from getting hurt. Worried? Yes worried he may feel guilty he may he may have some sort of regrets somebody may have some regrets they're regretting uh fighting or they're regretting not putting in energy they may even be regretting letting other people butt in because this could be other people putting in their two cents this is this is big regrets somebody's feeling guilty they're having a hard time sleeping. They're very stressed out because somebody has walked away. And they're avoiding the challenge. So somebody knows it will be a challenge to uh, make this person come back or to, to get this person to come back because this is the challenge and this could be coming back. So it's a challenge to get this person to come back. So I think we have somebody, and this person, uh, you yeah. know, hmm. let's get another card. We have somebody here that is very much uh, focused on their money, focused on their stability, um, obsessed, obsessed with money, obsessed with money, um, greedy, selfish. This is a selfish individual. Doesn't really want to give. Very, very stubborn. Hard-headed. It's all mine. You know, doesn't really want to share. We have somebody here that has a hard time sharing. Hard time uh, expressing themselves as well. It's like they want this person to come back, but they're reluctant to share. So we have somebody here that is greedy. We do have somebody here that is greedy. They're selfish. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is, uh, this person is watching. They are watching. They are a little bit confused. This is a sneaky individual. We have a sneaky individual here. Who probably wants to come back. Wants somebody to come back. This person wants somebody. To, they may have cheated. They may have lied. They may have betrayed. Somebody betrayed another person. And they know that they'll have to tell the truth. To, they'll have to tell the truth. So there's fear. There's fear. There's fear. There is fear. There's fear of, of having to tell the truth. Or having somebody here that is... is uh, that deserted this person who is this person's already left them in the past it's like I'm good I'm great now this guy this person is watching they're watching and it looks like they're not very happy and they're thinking about going back they're thinking about fighting for somebody but they got a lot of extreme pride here with the Emperor reverse is extreme ego and extreme pride so we got some this person that hasn't completely let go, but this person has. But this is a choice. So we're making a choice. So we do have a masculine here that is 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 struggling to make a choice. 
He is struggling to make a choice. He is. He's overwhelmed. He is overwhelmed. He is feeling burdened by the fact, because it's a fact, that the sword is a fact, by the fact that this person is, has let go. This person has let go of the past and is now socializing and having fun. Look at me. I'm good. So now it's about making a choice, making a change. Knight of Wands reversed. So we got somebody here who has a big chip on their shoulder. May have a bad reputation for for leaving when when the going gets rough. Okay, just just ups and leaves when the going gets rough. The Knight of Wands reversed. This is somebody who is reckless, um, moves too fast, gets violent, uh, is a troublemaker. Uh, doesn't really want responsibility. Five of Pentacles reversed. Now they're probably experiencing a hardship. You know? Feeling disgraced. Somebody could be feeling disgraced. They may be, they may be experiencing a, a major loss or total ruin because of reckless behavior. You know, so I think there's definitely, this is geometric powers higher than ourselves. This is earthly powers. It is. There's a, an alignment here, or a realignment. It's like coming into play, coming into, uh, well, it's coming into play. There, you now this could be a sudden departure. The Knight of Wands reversed. There could be a sudden departure. This could be light at the end of the tunnel. We could have somebody here that suddenly, without even thinking, just decides to uh, fight for something. Or they may decide to uh, choose another path. Um, this person is feeling, um, they've been holding on for dear life to something that doesn't make them happy. This is somebody that has been holding on for dear life to something that doesn't make them happy, pretending to be happy. But deep down inside, they're really, 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 really stressed out. So I feel like this, this stress is killing them. They're, you know, it feels like this person is about to collapse or they're about to break down. It's, it's really hard to keep up this facade, that kind of thing. So anyway, I feel like we have this opportunity for wish fulfillment way over here. But this person is facing a big challenge of, you know, speaking of the truth, communicating the truth, telling the truth after they have betrayed somebody. Because this is a betrayal. They've lied. So interesting. They may be fearful of coming forward because they've probably, maybe, maybe they're like, I, you know, I'm, it's too much for me. This is too much. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be rejected. That's what it feels like to me. I'm too afraid to be rejected. But I think there is about to be a turning point with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Somebody has been in an unhealthy relationship pretending that they're happy. And I feel like it's now there. It feels like now there's about to be a change. And I think it's a sudden change. A sudden decision. A sudden choice. Yeah. There it is. There's your change. A change of direction. Change of course. So something is, is about to change in a good way. So destiny, karma, a cycle is over. A cycle is ending. Somebody is choosing to spin the wheel. They're choosing to, to accept change. They want something better. Um, a positive change is coming. Absolutely. And it's gonna, and this, this positive change leads to wish fulfillment. So this is good luck. Somebody is choosing another path. I know that's what we got here. We have this, and I think it's a masculine, and you guys don't have to like me, and you can all say it's you, because, you know, we all, that's ego. It, it is. 
Anyhow, I think it's a masculine energy that is choosing uh, to let go of something that really doesn't make him happy. And I don't know what it is. It could be a job. It could be something that he's been holding on to. For, whatever it is, it's, it's some sort of uh, deceptive. It's a lie. He's been living a lie. He has apt This person has been living a complete lie. He's been holding on for dear life because of the stability of it. But now there's extreme guilt. There's a lot of guilt here and there's serious regrets. There's regrets over not protecting or not fighting for something when, when they had the chance. So it's like now they're thinking about walking away from this uh, whole lie and I think that they're going to do it. I do think that they're going to do it. I think we have a we have a big change here. It's like I want that opportunity for wish fulfillment. This is this is it's a beautiful opportunity. That's what's going to make me happy. That's what I want. That is what's going to make me happy and that is what I want. So, let's clarify that. magician somebody is definitely taking action to go after what they want they're willing to shed the old they're willing to shed whatever it takes to get this wish fulfillment so we do have a very skilled individual who has decided to take action this guy is is ready okay he's ready and this is a masculine because this is a masculine energy as well this is somebody who is very strong and has a lot of willpower. He's going to take charge. It's like he becomes aware of what he wants. So I feel as though um, this guy is going to take action. He, he is willing. He's willing to do whatever it takes. And this is a cycle that is coming to an end. And this is what goes around, comes around. So something, I think something is, is coming around that is meant to be. Because this is meant to be its destiny. There is a destined, and this is as above, so below. This is like calling in a soulmate. So there's like a soulmate connection here. So we have a very... Um, powerful individual who is taking action to bring positive change and end a cycle. They are ending a cycle of reckless behavior by the looks of things. This is like, I no fear. This guy has no fear. He's, he's ready. He's ready for a positive change. He is. He's ready for wish fulfillment. He's ready to have it all. So I think there is going to be a masculine, and it is a masculine, and you don't have to like me, I really don't care, who is taking action. This is somebody who takes action. This is somebody that has a very good character. Something has happened that has changed his character. Change of character. Something has happened. Now he's finding the resources within him to change his destiny. There is a change here. Somebody is letting go of an overwhelming situation. That they, where they have been pretending to be happy. It was superficial. We have a new cycle that is about to begin. And it's positive. This is positive change. So positive change is coming. So masculine is about to take positive action and change directions.
good luck.